The question at the beginning of the day, could Labour keep the NHS top of the news agenda? The answer would soon present itself. A leaked phone conversation with John Ashworth, the Shadow Health Secretary, criticising his leader's popularity. If you're in sort of small town Midlands and North, it's abysmal out there. I mean, they don't, they, they don't like uh, Johnson, but they can't stand Corbyn and they think Labour's blocked Brexit. The question is for Labour, if it gets itself a half-decent leader next time round, whether it can reverse and regain its sort of traditional sort of heart and seats. I just can't see how you don't have a majority, to be honest. In his conversation with a Conservative friend, Mr Ashworth also said the civil service machine would quickly move to safeguard security if Mr Corbyn became Prime Minister, echoing the Conservative mantra that the Labour leader can't be trusted. Well, Jeremy Corbyn started the day on the front foot talking about the NHS, but he's really been landed in it by his own health secretary, saying that Labour's chances are dire, and they're dire because of Brexit and because of him. I was trying to sort of wind my mate up and try and try and give him a sense of psychology. But a bit like when football managers try and wind up the um, football manager of the other team. In the context of a sort of bit of conversation with your mate, it seems all right. But obviously, when it gets leaked to a website, it looks terrible, doesn't it? And I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but I was just trying to wind him up a bit. In Morecambe, Mr Corbyn visited a school that had its own political cabinet of pupils, perhaps easier to control than his own. Then it was up to Carlisle, where he faced up to Ashworth's comments. He said to me it was all about uh, reverse psychology of banter, as in football supporters, and the other person was saying the opposite about their party. And uh, it all got a bit out of hand. It's not the kind of stuff I would do, not the kind of way I would talk to anybody, but John has called me, made it very, very clear. And, you know, John has been a fantastic Shadow Secretary of State for Health. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson came up with a new way of delivering an our familiar message. It's the red wall he'll need to break on Thursday if he's to get his majority. But he's convinced this slogan can do it. Good, good, good. John Ashworth made it absolutely clear that he thinks the reason uh, Mr Corbyn is failing to persuade some people to vote for him, failing to persuade large numbers of people to vote for him, is he is blocking Brexit. But here in Pendle, a Conservative marginal and Leave voting constituency, certainly there were Corbyn faithfuls who put Labour's plans for the NHS above getting Brexit done. All things equal, I would probably like to leave the EU, but it's not enough to make me vote for Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson can't be win me over on any argument unless he completely changes his personality. But it's the Shadow Health Secretary who's punched the biggest hole in Corbyn's campaign today. A reminder he hasn't always had the confidence of his closest colleagues. Both men have one day left to gain the confidence of the British electorate. Jason Farrell, Sky News.